Hey guys, this is Danny Jugan, uh, creator of Exus Football. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at how to modify the logos for all of the teams in the games. Um, these are any sort of visual representation of the team, including its name. Um, so, disclaimer I give at the beginning of all these instructional videos, uh, if you are going to mod your stuff, please back it up. Um, you can create a local copy on your machine or upload something to uh, online. And the reason for that is if I push an update to the game, I've got a couple post-release features I plan on adding. Um, there's always bugs that pop up that need to be fixed. If you download an update to the game, it's going to override any mods that you have done. So please back them up so you don't lose them. Um, and once you download the update, you can just drag your mods back in uh, to get them working. Um, so, let's look at how we get to the logo mod section. If you right click on your game in Steam, go to properties, local files, and then browse local files, it will pull up where the game is and what we're looking for is inside of the mods folder. Uh, inside of the mods folder, we're going to be looking today at the team mods. So we'll go inside of there and it shows you all 32 teams in the game. And then there's a bunch of template files down here. Um, and we're going to use some of those uh, today as well. We'll be uh, messing with those. So I'm going to pick, let's just go inside of Atlanta. Um, so I've got this pulled up here. If you look here, it's, it's pretty easy to see um, where these logos are used. Um, each of these logos is used in a different spot in the game. Um, obviously this is the end zone. The helmet is shown when you're selecting the teams um, and the logo and the score clock are used at various different places. Obviously this is on the score clock when you're actually in the game. Uh, the logo is used uh, in a few places on like the playbook menu uh, at the end of the game when it's showing the stats uh, also in franchise mode. These are used, both the score clock and the logo are used at a couple different places throughout the game. Um, this is the midfield logo, the one that goes in the center of the field. Um, and then if you want to adjust the crowd, you can do that as well. And here's the cheerleader texture as well, similar to the uniform texture. Um, all of this um, can be modified. Oh, excuse me. I'm trying to drink coffee while I do this. Um, so, Finally, the team name. If you want to change the name of the team, simply open up the team name. And there's three different parts that you're going to want to put. The first is the city. The next is the actual name of the team. And the last is the three-letter abbreviation that you want to use. And it doesn't have to be three letters. You can use two letters or four if you want. Um, but each of those need to go on its own separate line. Okay. So... Um, when you are modifying these, the common errors that people experience is that they either don't name them correctly or they don't use the right file format. Um, if you look at this, for example, the crowd is a PNG. Um, make sure it's a 2048 by 2048. Same thing with the cheerleader. It's 2048 by 2048, but notice it's a JPEG. Okay, so when you're modding this stuff, make sure you get the right file type, otherwise it won't work. Um, if the dimensions aren't right, it will still work, but it'll look stretched or skewed, um, so make sure you get that right as well. All right, the end zones are PNGs. They're 1024 by 256. The helmets are PNGs, uh, 735 by 296. The logos are also PNGs. You can see the dimensions there. Midfield's a PNG, and the scorehawk is a PNG as well. Okay, so I'm just going to show you a really quick example. Um, let's modify the helmet, and I've got this backed up, so I'm not really worried about any changes I make to it. But anything that's in this folder and anything that's um, in any of the team folders get loaded in dynamically um, when the game starts. So if I want to... I don't know, draw some squiggly lines on the helmet. 
whatever is put here and we can take the logo and move it to the back. If I save this, close out, you'll notice now I've got my goofy looking helmet there. When I go into the game, a quick matchup, when I go to Atlanta, now I've got my goofy edited helmet. Okay, so we'll exit out of this, we'll go back to my desktop, and I backed up this helmet here, and I'll just say replace it, so we go back to the original. Now when I go back into the game, we see it's back to the original. Okay. So there's one thing I will let you know, um, if your logo... Uh, for the helmet, uh, I think most of the logos and the score clocks are without text, but if your helmet has text, you'll need to make an additional copy. So if we go down to the, the New York Hulks, you'll see an example here. The helmet for the Hulks has text on it, and because in-game, when you're looking at the home team, the helmet is facing the opposite direction, and I'll show you here. See, it's facing the opposite direction. So if we go down to New York, you'll see that it pulls out the left helmet, or the, I should say, right-facing helmet, this one here. But if we are going to take this helmet and flip it, it's going to make the text backwards. So what we do is we have to create the same thing where the helmet has the text reversed so that when you take this right facing helmet and you flip it the helmet faces left and because the text in the image is flipped when you flip the helmet it unflips it and so what you will need to do is any helmet that has text in it you'll need to create an additional graphic like we've done here call it right helmet with a space in between and all that you'll need to do is whatever text you have in the image you'll need to flip okay so if we look at other examples of this um, most of the helmets don't have text but a couple of them do um, let's see here longhorns for example so if we go into Houston you'll notice that there is a helmet and then there's also a right helmet and the right helmet image simply has the text written backwards so that when the whole helmet gets flipped the text is written correctly okay if there is not a left helmet like for example Detroit they just have a regular helmet graphic when we looked at Atlanta it just had a regular helmet graphic if there's no need to flip the graphic or flip the text then you don't need a right helmet graphic okay if there's not one there it will just flip this one okay um, and I think that's about it. So that's how you modify the logos and the team names for uh, all the teams in Axis Football. Um, I've said this in all the other videos. I want to really encourage you guys to share what you create. Uh, you can also visit our forums to download any of the mods that others have created. You'll get to that um, under the mod section here. Uh, there will be a link to the forums where you can upload and download um, stuff that everyone else has done. So looking forward to seeing what you guys create. Um, I'm glad you guys get some creative freedom here. You can uh, create your own teams. Um, and that will really add a lot to the game. So thank you so much for your support. And I'll be back soon with another video.